Hi, I'm Lindsay Baumgren of Nourish Me With Love, and this is your 10-minute bar abs from the mat. If you love home workouts, hit subscribe to our YouTube channel. All right, we have an awesome 10 minute ab workout for you from the mat and it's gonna be bar style. So this is a bar inspired ab workout all from the mat and it is no repeats, no planks, and no equipment. So you're gonna use just your body weight. I have the amazing Caroline with me. Hello. She'll be offering some modifications throughout this workout. You can always shorten the lever by bending your knees versus having legs straight and so on. But we're gonna jump right into it. It is 10 moves of 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, no repeats like we said, and we're gonna start on our backside. So you only have to do each exercise once. We are going to start with feet in first position. So that is heels in, toes out. Hands are gonna come behind the head. You're going to pull the legs in, kick out, and then crunch up. That's what we're gonna do for the first 40 seconds, and it starts in three, two, here we go. Take it down, up, and crunch. Nice, lower, push, and crunch. Nice work. Heels to touch, if you can. Push up, and nice. So we're gonna hit those low abs right there on that push upper abs on that crunch. In, out, and crunch. Nice work. It's nice that you only have to do each exercise once. I always just think that's just a great way for a 10 minute ab workout, right? Goes by fast. Goes by fast. Down, up. Nice work. Speaking of fast, you only have 10 seconds left on this move. Crunch, awesome job. Take it down, up for five, four, three, two, and one, nice work. We're gonna stay here on our backside. You take your hands right to your side. Knees are gonna come to a 90 degree bend. We're gonna go toe tap, toe tap. You're gonna go single, single, double. Caroline's gonna stick with the singles. I'm gonna add the double, okay? Single, single, double. The closer my knees are, easier. Farther my knees are from my chest, harder. We go in three, two, and one. So go single, single. If you wanna add the double, go for it. You can stick to the single toe taps, or you can add the double. Single, single, double, nice. You can always place your hands right on your core here. Feel those muscles that are working. Make that mind-muscle connection. One of my favorite moves here. I've done this through all seasons of life, pregnancy, postpartum. This is one of the main moves I really use to help, help me rebuild my core postpartum and reconnect with these muscles. So, love this move. Been with me through all seasons of life. Still doing it today. Such a good one. Five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna come up to a seated position now. You're gonna bring the soles of your feet to touch and we're gonna go opposite hand, opposite heel. So you're gonna sit back and then you're gonna reach. Opposite hand, opposite heel. Hand to heel. So heels are up towards the ceiling. Nice, gonna hit those inner thighs as well as those low abs. We go in three, two, sit it back. Opposite hand, opposite heel. Boom, and boom, there you go. Nice, hand to heel. And the farther I sit back, the more challenging it's gonna be. Nice work, awesome job. I know you're also gonna love this. This is a no plank bar inspired. I usually build a nice solid plank sequence into every bar workout that I have, but we are gonna do this 10 minute ab sequence, no plank style. Awesome work, 10 more seconds here, 10 more seconds. And then we're gonna go for some slow rollbacks. Stay in it, five, four, three, two, and one, nice. Now you can bring those heels to the mat so feet are flat on the floor. And you can use your hands to assist you behind your legs if you need to. Our hands are gonna come out here. And we're just gonna roll back really slow all the way down. And then a nice crunch up. That's where we go in five seconds, okay? So it's a slow roll back. I'm gonna try and go back on an eight count. We go in three, two. Let's go lower eight, seven, six, five. It's slow and control. Final three, two. And one, take it back up to the top, back down for eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice, think of it like your back, the spine, the, the vertebrae in your spine slowly connecting to the mat like Velcro does on a Velcro strip. And then peel the Velcro strip up and then roll it back. You're here for five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna stay right here on our backside now. Okay, I'm gonna take my hands behind my head. I'm gonna take one toe to the knee. It doesn't matter which one. We're gonna do the opposite one in a little bit here. And you're just gonna go up an inch, down an inch, up an inch, down an inch. More challenging than it looks, we'll be there in three, two, 
and one. So we go up an inch and down an inch. So Caroline's gonna keep her neck and shoulders resting on the mat, great option. You can have the hands at the side as well. Option, hands can come behind the head. You can lift the neck and shoulders up off the mat to engage it a little bit more. You can make this move more challenging by the more pressure you apply into that toe. You're gonna engage this inner thigh and quad, okay? Up to you. Nice work, you can really apply pressure, make it challenging using just your body weight. Right here, you're in it for 10, nine, eight, you got it, seven, stay with it, six, five, four, three, two, and recover. Nice, we're gonna come back to this bent knee position. You're gonna wanna take your hands out to your side and we're going to lower the knees side to side, hitting those obliques. Nice, keeping my shoulders and my neck connected to the mat as my hips rotate side to side. Again, farther the knees are, harder it is. We go in three, two, and go. So you're just lowering the knees to the mat. Up, lower with control, Shh. bring it back up. Nice, lower with control, bring it back up. You always make this more challenging by kicking your legs out. Again, longer the lever or farther something is from your body, the more challenging it is gonna be for that core. You can always take a Pilates ball and place it between your knees too. Keep that inner thigh continually engaged. Nice work. Side to side right here, hitting those obliques for 10, nine, eight, you got it, stay with it. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Nice, we're gonna go back to that that guitar, I call this the guitar move, toe to heel. I don't know why, that's just what we called it when I taught bar classes. Okay, so again, neck and shoulders can be on the mat or they can be lifted. Okay, we're gonna go back to this move, other side in three, two, let's go. So it's up an inch to down an inch. Lift and lower. It's that tiny one inch movement, right? That makes this that bar style of core workout. Up an inch and down an inch. Those slow, controlled, precise movements. Nice, connecting that core right here. You got it. The more I push into this toe, the harder it's gonna be for this inner thigh quad. Make it work, stay with it. Come on, this is move seven of 10 right here. 10 more seconds, yes you can. Down an inch, up an inch, down and up, you got it. Four, three, two, and one. Relax, awesome jump. From here we're gonna come back to that bent knee position. And this time we're gonna take the toes out like you're going to a V and then you're gonna pull them back together. So tap wide, pull together. That's what we're gonna do. We go there in five, get those knees up in three, two. Let's go step to the side, pull it together. Tap wide, together. Nice work. I like to place my hands on my core for this one. Side. Getting a toe cramp. I can't put my toes anymore. I'm gonna have to tap my heels. Woo, my toes are cramping. Ah, there we go. Nice work. The real behind the scenes. Just a toe cramp. Those are the worst, right? You're like, oh, toe cramp. Nice work. 10 more seconds here. I need a banana or something, right? I need some potassium. Is that what I'm lacking? Nice. Right here. Last five, four, three, two, and one, relax. All right, you guys, we have two moves left in this core workout. We're gonna go down to straight legs. So you're gonna give me an alternating leg lower, and then you're gonna go back to that leg open. So one leg lower, one leg open. Caroline can show you with a bent knee option as well. We're there in three, two, let's go. So leg drop, lift, open, close, lower, lift, open. If you wanted, you could scissor across even on that right there. You could open, scissor across. Woo, there's a little bar action for you. Open, cross, lower, lift, open, cross. Nice. You got it. Hitting a little bit more of those low abs, also engaging those inner thighs right here. Nice work as you pull back together each time. Open, close. Nice. Hips are stable, square off on that mat. Stay with it. Three two, and one. Are you ready for your final move? We're coming back up to that seated position. Heels can be on the mat. C shape, you're gonna round through that spine, sit back as far as you can, and we're gonna sweep, center, sweep, center. That is our last move, 40 seconds on, and you're out of here. Let's do it. Three, 
two. Let's go, let's go. Sweep, center, side, center. The farther you can extend that arm away from your body, the more challenging this move is gonna be. You got it. Nice work. Sweep, side, center, and side. Center, stay with it. Yes, this is it, guys. Final move, move 10 of 10 right here, knocking out this 10 minute bar inspired ab workout. Finish strong right here, you got it. Nice, you're in the final. 10, nine, eight, you got it. Seven, stay with it. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job, Caroline. Good job. High Good fives to you at home, we did it. 10 minute bar abs knocked it out and we'd love to see you back on the mat for another workout soon. Have a great day. Awesome job knocking out that 10 minute bar ab workout. If you loved it, hit subscribe to our YouTube channel. You might also enjoy this workout right here or you can find all of our bar and Pilates inspired workouts in this playlist right here. Have a great day.